So we're looking at Darth Vader here because I like Darth Vader. <laughs> Anytime there's a new Darth Vader, and I know there's reused parts here, uh, but I definitely have to check it out. This is the um, Obi-Wan Kenobi show Darth Vader. So this is, what, number two from the series. The description here is actually about the show and not really about Darth Vader anymore, which is kind of interesting. Um, these have been started here. I actually found this at a Target store amongst uh, a bunch of other of the new six inch uh obi-wan figures so i wanted to start with vader obviously i gotta start with obi-wan but i'm doing vader because it's me so let's see what we have in here so like the tvc got a, a brand new vader like it was an all new figure this from what i heard is mostly a reuse here of parts tvc also got two extra hands this one didn't get anything extra well, oh, that's weird. Oh, it's got like an extra piece of plastic in the back, I guess for the cape. Boy, if they, if they want to eliminate plastic from the packages. <laughs> it seems like a not needed, I guess maybe it's just needed to get the figure in there. It'll be interesting to see next year when we start getting figures that are uh, all like in a paper tissue paper or whatever. All right, so here is our Darth Vader figure. It's a great head on it. Great, great helmet. You notice no chain down. We didn't really see the chain till like Empire and Jedi. Uh, robes are underneath the armor, which they were in the show. Um, he does come with his lightsaber right here. This looks like could pop this off and put it on his belt, possibly. Yes. There we go. It's got a little little loop there. We can put it on his belt there. Okay. Uh, you know, there's not, not a whole lot here. The biggest thing, let's see how big this cape is. A lot of the capes lately have been huge on Vader. I already see this. It makes me think of like a Batman cape or something. Like if I lay that out, you can see how big that, that really is there. It's pretty big. So let's compare. So I can play with the cape a little bit, get it over shoulders a little bit more there. It looks pretty good hanging like that. They used a heavy enough material that it works pretty well. Now, of course, the Vader that we all want, um, they'll probably make a little later, I'm sure they will, is going to have the, the helmet broken open. We see Anakin inside. I don't doubt Hasbro will make that, considering we've got the, that Phasma that had like the eye showing through and everything like that. I'm sure it'll be a lot of reuse of parts, but it'll be mostly a new helmet on that. That'll be pretty cool. So let's compare this Vader to our previous Vaders. Whoops, as he falls over. So this Vader, this is the A New Hope Vader that was put out in uh, 2017 with the 40th anniversary. Of course, he has the robes over. Um, negate the lightsaber. It's the same hands. I can see that. It is the same chest box. Looks to be the same belt pieces. The head looks different. Obviously, this one has the red eyes and this one doesn't. But those heads look slightly different. Uh, I'm just, I'm looking really close at it and it looks to be really different. And I'm wondering if that head might be from the Empire Strikes Back Vader, which was from 2020. Um, that looks closer. I think that may be the same helmet. So it looks like we have the Empire Strikes Back Vader helmet. Could be wrong, but I'm pretty sure those are the same. Um, and the body from the 2017 Vader. I mean, both of those Vaders they put out were really good, and there's nothing wrong with that. I mean, it's Darth Vader. How many differences are they going to make? If, they, if they've made a really good one, I don't mind. Although, honestly, that TVC one is absolutely amazing. Um, all in all, it's a good Vader figure. Um, if you don't have one, this is a great one to get one. If you have those previous two, you could probably skip this one. I, I don't know if this is really one that you need to go get. Unless you really like Darth Vader, like me.